Greetings and salutations from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. Bah, 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 bah. Welcome back to my channel. Lately, I've been on a mission to simplify, declutter, and purge my closet. So today I wanna to talk to you about how I am purging my closet, as well as showcasing some of the new pickups that are gonna fit into this new wardrobe that I'm working on, this new uniform, so to speak, that I'm working on. So with that said, let's talk about it. So as you can see, my closet is a total shit show, and I want to get rid of a lot of these clothes. Fortunately, there are plenty of resale sites out there like Grailed and Depop. However, I found that Macari is the best fit for me. What I appreciate the most about Macari is the ease of use. And I can promise you that this is not an ad. I'm just telling you how I'm getting rid of all these damn clothes. Unlike some other popular platforms, it does not require you to use PayPal, which is my arch nemesis as I have been scammed on PayPal more times than I'd care to admit. Macari offers protection for both buyers and sellers, which is great because all parties know that they will be satisfied at the end of the transaction. I've already sold a good amount of stuff on Macari and it's actually helped me pick up a few of the things that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. So if you want to see some of the gems that I have listed on Macari, I'm gonna put a link right down there in the description so you can see my closet. So with that said, let me get back to showing you all these great new additions to my closet. For me, a good wardrobe starts with the shoe selection. I'm a big believer that good shoes can save an otherwise bad outfit. Investing in quality footwear should be your first priority when building out your essentials. The Rick Owens Geo Basket has been on my hit list for quite some time, though I am just now getting to a point where I could pull the trigger on a pair. They are that rare sneaker that's a true balance between a standout piece and a timeless wearable classic that you can pretty much wear every day. They have have an extended tongue, a padded collar, and of course that signature shark tooth sole. All of that combines on a chunky silhouette that's crafted out of premium leather and sure to be able to take pretty much anything you throw at it. And of course we can't negate that beautiful signature Rick milk and black colorway. Of course finished off with the classic side zipper for easy access in the extended laces so you can wrap them boys right around that padded collar. These are the perfect piece to begin your wardrobe build out with. They are especially versatile because they add just a little bit of luxe to just about any outfit. You can rock them with the fitted jean and let the tongue hang out as well as shorts. You can also throw them on with the baggier style and cover the tongue up or don't. The choice is really yours. But the Geo Basket wasn't the only Rick Owens shoe that I added to my collection recently. But before we talk about the next pickup, if you're already loving what you're seeing, why don't you do me a favor and click that like button for your boy. It really helps send this video back out into the algorithm and get a few more eyes on it. And of course, if you're loving this and any of my other content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and let them know you fox with your boy. It really helps me grow this channel and helps me keep delivering that fire content for y'all. So without further ado, let's get back into the video. I also recently added a pair of Bozo Beetle tractor boots in the vanilla color to my wardrobe. They've quickly become one of my favorite pair of boots of all time. The boots are inspired by the classic Chelsea boot with the unique rig twist on them. They have an oversized toe box, extended shaft, and that signature stack sole, this particular one being clear. That vanilla color is so unique and it's a great alternative to that standard suede tan that everybody wears to brunch. I love how they're a little bit edgy, but still understated and you can pretty much wear them with anything. They're a little bit heavy, but also surprisingly comfortable with a cushioned insole and a buttery soft leather lining. I get so many compliments when I wear these and I, and I just catch people looking at my feet trying to figure out what are those when they see them. I actually really, really want to get an all black pair or the black pair with the clear sole. So those are on my hit list. And if you got a pair for sale, let your boy know. Last but not least for the Rick pickups, of course, you know, your boy had to pick up some Ramones, the classic. I recently actually got rid of my old Dark Shadow Ramones and a couple of other things to level up to the mainline all leather version of it. Now, if you don't know about Ramones, Ramones, which I know a lot of you probably already do. They are an updated take on that classic Chuck Taylor silhouette, brought up a little bit and rickified once again with that bulbous toe, the chunky sole, as well as the shark tooth bottom. And of course, it's got that zipper on the side for easy access in the extended laces, all of those rig staples, everything that you love about the Ramones. Of course, I'm already loving these more than my old Dark Shadow version with their supple soft leather upper that tends to mold 
to your foot. So my first couple of wears, they were a little bit uncomfortable, but I could feel the leather breaking as I wore them. I can rock these with anything from crop pants to shorts, and they always look good and really elevate any look and really make people just look like, okay, I know those are not Chuck Taylors, but damn, they look so good. Like, what are those? Though I sometimes miss my dark shadow version because they have the little license plate on the back, I have no regrets in upgrading to this leather pair as I know that they're gonna be durable and really be able to ride it out for me for a long period of time and really be the foundation of this new wardrobe I'm working on. As I'm purging my closet, I'm considering a few different factors. First of all, how a garment fits my body, how it drapes, hugs, and lays on my body. I'm a little thick, so fit is very, very important to me. Next, I'm considering whether it's a timeless piece, will I be wearing it a year from now, or am I just following a trend? I also consider whether the color and the print is suitable for me, my body type, and my skin tone. By focusing on these key questions, it really helps me eliminate those extra trendy things as well as things that I have some type of sentimental attachment to. If I'm not wearing it, I don't need it. I just literally don't need anything else taking up valuable closet space. My entire goal is to shrink this closet by about 50%, which is going to be incredibly challenging because most of it is t-shirts and t-shirts that I love. Look, man, shoes are great and all, but let's be real. Your pants are the true MVP for any outfit. As I'm decluttering my wardrobe, I'm realizing that I have a slight pants addiction. Like a moth, I'm always drawn to unique prints, patterns, and styles on my pants. But now I need to tone it down a notch and go for a more subtle vibe. That's why I picked up these bondage trousers by this new and upcoming brand, Handmade Rust on Grailed. They're an homage to the legendary Helmet Lang version, though they have been updated a little bit with some details that are specific to this Handmade Rust version. I actually respectfully slid into the seller's inbox and asked them politely what were they really looking for price-wise, and they were just like, hey, pay shipping and you're good to go. I'll send them to you so that's what I did I paid about 22 bucks and I got a great pair of pants more on the story talk to your sellers nice you might get a great deal you never know but back to the pants the fit is a1 the style is a1 I love the hardware I think the hardware is exceptionally done the bondage straps on them are done really really well it's just a really cool looking pant at its base the pants are black with the little copper color accents from the hardware that I think really makes them stand out in a crowd and, and really elevates an outfit takes a basic black outfit and adds a few elements to it to really turn it up a notch. All the hardware is very well executed and I'm not worried about zippers getting stuck on me over time. I think they're gonna be durable over time and really hold up well for me. And of course, for them to be handmade, they're so well made. Like I'm, I'm very, very excited to really see more from this brand. Now, anime tees always hold a special place in my heart. I remember a time back in the 90s and 2000s where purchasing anime merch was next to impossible in the state. So now when I see anime tees from properties that I love, I have to cop. Now, after I was inundated with ads from online retailer Dumb Good, who specializes in hitting that pop culture nostalgia button in your brain, I kind of had to just hop in and cop a couple of t-shirts from them. The two tees that I ended up choosing are from two of my absolute favorite animes of all time, ReZero and Neon Genesis Evangelion. Both of these are big all over print tees, which really take me back to those weave days of buying those button down shirts with the big all over print anime scenes on them. So I definitely feel like a nerd for buying these, but they were too fuego for me to pass up. First, you have this rim from ReZero big face print in this beautiful light blue color. And then you have this Neon Genesis Evangelion unit one all over big print tee that has a front and back print that is just completely sick. And one thing that I noticed about these tees, though they seem to be direct to garment, they are really, really well executed. I think they did a great job of capturing that TV aesthetic as the images have a slight blur on them, but not because they're not high quality images, because they're kind of trying to capture that, hey, I was watching this on TV in standard definition, which I think is absolutely dope. I know that these t-shirts are the antithesis of what I'm trying to do with my wardrobe and simplifying it and making it a little bit easier for me to put together a uniform, but they were too dope to pass up. And I think they can actually add a little bit of pop and a little bit of intrigue to my outfits. They can also serve as a conversation piece and a way for me to kind of link up with other people who like 
similar things that I do. I was so impressed with these tees that I ended up going back and ordering a Cowboy Bebop one as well. And I think they have a second Cowboy Bebop big print tee that I think I'm gonna double back and pick up as well. And I actually ended up wearing the Ram shirt to Club Space recently and got tons of compliments on it. So came out really sick. I'm actually gonna post a picture of the outfit up here somewhere if I have not already, but it came out really, really cool. Now, continuing on with tops, I also really like adding that extra layer, but with it being so hot in South Florida, the chances that I'm gonna be able to wear like a denim jacket or a jacket or a hoodie are next to none. So what's the next alternative? Vest. And I picked up two great ones for Kit. The first one being this very lightweight yellow one. This is actually a men's vest. It has tons of pockets and it is super, super light and super breathable and a great unique color that I think ties back very, very nicely to the Bozo Beetle tractor boots. It will also work with my Ramones as well as my Geo Baskets. So I, I was thinking ahead when I picked it up and kind of working it into the uniform. But of course, you know I needed a black one and I picked up a second vest, this one being a little bit heavier, this time from the women's section. And I just love all of the pockets on this one. I love the short cropped finish. I love the half zipper on it. It is just a really, really sick and cool vest. I'm actually thinking about going back and picking up the olive version if they still have it. I definitely recommend, especially when you're in warmer places or even for the summertime, picking up a couple of vests that you can use. One, because they're great for storing things in with all of the pockets, of course. And also they're a great way to just level up your outfit with an extra layer. As you can see, I have a plan as to where I wanna go with my wardrobe. It's just gonna take a little bit of time and focus and curbing the impulse buying and just staying eyes on the prize and only picking up stuff that I know is gonna work with the wardrobe. Of course, you can follow a few of the tips that I detailed earlier in the video if you're looking to do the same thing. And I would love to hear down in the comments about what you guys are doing with your wardrobe and what direction you wanna take it in. And also what you thought of some of my pickups. If you enjoyed this video, I suggest you watch one of these two videos next. Until next time, peace.